splice it all together. Okay, it's recording. Okay. Okay, so we had a couple of technical hitches there. Not quite sure how long we were off, but we've got 38 seconds left in order to complete the warm up. So we're going to increase the power, increase the effort up to about a five or six now. <coughs> I'm sure this video is the best. <laughs> Keep it moving. Okay. We're increasing the power. So we've got five minutes. Just below. Good. Below sweet spot. So maybe five or six in the power range. We've got a low cadence below 90, about 80, so just pushing it nicely. I'm gonna, I've got a video on here because I'm trying to <coughs> multitask. So keep it there. Let's go. <laughs> Good. Keep it spinning, nice and steady. Five minutes. Oh, oh I'm out of the power zone now for a moment. Good. Four minutes left. First minute done. Keep that power nice and constant. Five to six. Nice and steady. Good. Good. Keep the spinning. Keep the focus. Lower cadence. Down 80. We'll do a count shortly. Good. Well done. Get ready to count. In five, three, two, one, and count. And 20, so I'm bang on 80 for my cadence there. Keeping it going. Keep it going, well done. Good, nice and smooth. So we're over halfway through this one. We're going to do another count in three, two, one, and count. Okay, 19 there, it's a little bit below. And you'll keep it there, keep it spinning. Good, pin it in half left. And then we go up to a seven. So six to seven in the sweet spot. And just below threshold. Good. Fabulous, well done. Well done. Last minute for this effort and 10 minutes at sweet spot. Feel the rhythm. And at sweet spot we want to be about 90, but you can choose any cadence that suits you. Well 
done. Good, well done. 20 seconds. And then we're going to go up a gear and hold on. Oh, don't get close to the back wheel there. <laughs> going up in. Three, two, one, up we go. Or maybe just increase the cadence to see what works. Good. So I've just literally increased the cadence on that rather than change gear. Got 10 minutes of this. Fantastic. Well done, brilliant. Keep it going. First minute's gone. Keep it nice and steady. Keep it going, well done. Come on, well done. Keep that focus. Remember, getting out of the comfort zone, you've got the North effect change physically, mentally. <clears throat> Come on. boiling hot though. So <laughs> the rest I'm probably gonna leak off because I need a remote. <laughs> Good. 
Hopefully you've all got your fans on there. Well done, keep it going. Awesome, come on. Keep it going. Coming up to halfway in this effort, just below sweet spot, or well, it's in sweet spot, sorry, just below threshold. Six and seven, all the way through. Cadence to suit. Keep it going, come on. Do another count in 15 second time. When there's 90 seconds left. Get ready to count. In three, two, one, and count. Session almost halfway. Woo. 
<laughs> well done, everybody. I can see you working hard. Sweat is dripping. We're going to count in two, one, and count. If we did, you would see a completely different one. <laughs> Could catch one from another video, perhaps a shepherd in there. I'm not going to be warming up again, you know. <laughs> we've probably missed, uh, oh gosh, 14 minutes of the warm up before I was able to mend the camera. So if it didn't splice together perfectly, I do apologise. Good. Keep those legs spinning. 
Okay, just uh, don't let it drop. I feel mine dropping. Let me in my power zone. Good. Good. Well, a few guys went swimming last night at uh, St. Bride, and the bioluminescence apparently was amazing. So what that is, when you move your hands in the water, I believe it's plankton, it glows. The only place I've done that was with Mel, hi Mel, in Australia. And we were swimming, oh my gosh, was it the Whit Sundays? And uh, it's just the most amazing thing. So we're going to attempt to go down tonight and see if we can see them again. The weather's turning a little bit, it's as nice as it was last night, which is such an amazing experience having to swim with that glowing, glowing sea. Let's say effervescent, that's bubbling. <laughs> Keep those legs spinning. Come on, well done. Grill. Four minutes left. It. Fantastic, well done. Should be feeling good now. Ready for that five minute hard effort, followed by ten minutes uh, moderate effort. Each session you do, you're layering on a bit of fitness. Good. Superb, well done. Coming up to the last three minutes of our recovery now. Good. It. Lovely, keep it spinning. where we are. Three, two, one, and count. Twenty-four. I'm nearly at my hundred. Nearly there. Ninety-six. It. Fantastic. Less than a minute and a half to go before our hard effort and a lower cadence. Good. Keep it going. Not so hot with my fan on, my goodness. Have a drink though. Don't forget to get the fluids in. Well done, 50 seconds left. Good. Keep 
leg spinning. The end of our relaxing period. <laughs> Twenty seconds left. So I'm going to drop a gear and get myself ready. Relieve the pressure. Okay. Going up in ten. So it's going to be a bird sweet spot. So it's not going to be nice. Got five minutes. One and up we go. Come on, stay focused for this one now. More like an eight, seven or eight. At least it's going to feel like that by the time you get to the end of the five minutes. Come on, well done. One minute's gone, four to go. Time goes slow when you're working hard. Well done. Three minutes left. Well done. Legs are tired. Legs can do it. One minute left. Sorry. Snippity snip. Keep it going. Well done, come on. 45 left. Gaze that core, keep those hips tight, use those legs. 
35 seconds left. It's not rest. We're gonna hold on to it now. Come on. Get the power up there. Come in. Ooh. It's gonna be hard work holding on to this one. Higher low level at the moment. You want to keep it relatively low and ideally below that seven because you want to be building as much of a base, super foundation as possible over the next six to eight weeks before we start increasing the strength for the next one. Well done. Hold on to it, eight and a half minutes to go. Focus on turning those pedals over. Stay in the same gear. Maybe it's the same. Nice and low. Quarter of the way through. Well done. Good, six minutes to go. Keep those legs turning. Keep the power there. Try and stay consistent. Check your cadence. Come on, 
Well done. Coming up to halfway now. Awesome. Feel those boots. Feel those hamstrings. Scrape that hoo. Come on, keep it working. Keep it working. Well done. Over halfway now. You can keep this. We've got it. Well done, well done. Four and a half. Keep it going. Nice and smooth. Come on. Just four minutes. Ten seconds to go. Doing well. Keep those legs turning. Brilliant. Well done. My eyes are closed now. <laughs> Focusing internally. Keep it there. Keep that rhythm. Come on, not long left now. Two minutes, two minutes, come on. Woo. Woo. Come on guys, and gals. <laughs> One and a half minutes to go. Oh, don't let it drop off. Come on, this is when it counts. This is when it counts. The others are failing. Internalize. My eyes are closed. Just focusing on the rhythm. Obviously, you wouldn't close your eyes on the road. <laughs> Health and safety alert. Health and safety alert. <laughs> Last minute. In the last minute now. Nice and smooth. Come on. Well done. I can feel that motivation in you now. Lifting when you know it's only a minute to go. Well done. Come on. Last 40. Last 30. Coming up, last 30 now. Come 
Last 20. Don't let it drop off now. This is it. Squeeze that little bit out. Ooh, that could be misconstrued. Just don't squeeze anything out apart from energy. <laughs> Come on. Three, two, one. Take it down. We're going to spin for five. Whew. Nice and easy. Get the cadence up. Keep the blood flowing through those legs. Well done. Oh, wowee. Awesome. We take you through all the sessions in my arsenal. <laughs> Every session you do, I will do. Maybe not as often. I don't have any race girls at the moment. But I just want to be fit for life. I want to be fit for when a friend says to me, do you want to come for a bike ride? I can say, yep. And not struggle. Do you want to come for a run? And I can say, okay. And I'm not struggle. So that's why I want to see swim. That's pretty much why I am keeping this training going, as well as obviously all the buzz I get from motivating you guys to work with me. Pretty much raced since I was 11 in one form or another. Starting off at surf life saving till I was 25. Then track from about 17 to about 25. Played hockey from 11 to about oh, 25. Everything seemed to harry. Keep going until 25. Well, that's when I left and went to work in the Middle East. And I suppose that's when I took up the triathlon more seriously. But I was 21 when I first did my, my first race. And it took a couple of years to get into a club and start training. But in all that time, worked abroad, been traveling, I didn't really take it seriously until I moved back to the UK. 28, 27, 28. And then decided that I wanted to try out for the world, which I managed in 97, yet to 27. So that was my first world championships in Montreal. Great memories, great friends. Fastest swim of my life. I think I was just dragged along by the current. <laughs> but we talk about imposter complex and we talk about self-doubt in regards to motivation. And still on that start line, yep, you definitely look around you, everybody looks amazing, super fit, and you just think you don't. And hopefully they're looking at you thinking the same thing. But one thing that surprised me I'll never forget one girl who didn't look that fast. She's definitely a bit overweight. And I said, Oh, which age group are you in? And she said, oh, I'm not, I'm elite from New Zealand. It was phenomenal. She had <laughs> Penny, you'd like it, those saddlebags. She had some saddlebags. And it was very broad across the beam. And it taught me a, a good lesson. Never underestimate a body shape. Keep those legs spinning nicely. Keep that power in there. Doing really well. But uh, pretty much comes to the end now. We've got one minute and five seconds left. And our session will be over for the day. So keep it going. Nice and steady. Keep it going. Well done. But it just takes grit and determination. Sticking at what you want to do, an element of self-belief. But when you race, get rid of that. And as time has gone on, and I perhaps cared a little less, I've actually done a bit better because I'm over 
use a heck of a lot of nervous energy for a race. That didn't come until after the children. And then you realise there's more to life than proving yourself on the start line. Well, coming to the end of the session, I'd like to say thank you once again for joining me in the Den of Doom. Hopefully, there we go, we're stopping the clock. Hopefully, this worked for you. My multitasking <laughs> wasn't too bad. So what I was multitasking about was looking at motivation, getting into the mind of a winner. And I will expand on this, but I don't think you actually caught any of that because it was all in the warm-up. So if you didn't, I will repeat some of the main topics again quite soon. And we'll see you again in the den of doom. Thank you very much and goodbye.